So I can get four tools in the cut at the same time. Now, I don't know of another manufacturer that can do that. All right, Chris. Well, I want the audience to a little bit use your imagination currently, and we are going to jump into a final assembly, right? But That's right. we're right in the middle, so we have an imagination of what's being done. In the meantime, let's talk about some of the benefits of this TNL machine. So this is our uh, TNL 20, yeah, and this is the base assembly here. So this is where all the pre-assembly parts come in. They they put it basically to the mechanical machine together. Now the massive advantage of our machine compared to a lot of our competitors, we can have four tools in the cut at the same time. Yeah, so we have here two revolvers on the machine, which is unusual for a Swiss type machine to have revolvers, but that's the way we do it. So they're, they're driven. They, have, they, they both have gearboxes in them. Then we have the, the fixed tools on this side, which is also a gearbox, so that swivels back and forth, so I can have tools in here. But I can also put tools in the front of this revolver, synchronize both these spindles, so they, they run together, so I can use the tooling coming out of here on my back spindle. So I can get four tools in the cut at the same time. Now, I don't know of another manufacturer that can do that. It's, it's really impressive. I'm standing here listening to you talk about it, Chris, and, and I, I thought we were going to jump right into sliding head versus fixed head, which also has its advantages, of course. and it's a quick change over time, but I almost have to sit down four tools and cut at the same time, so many axes moving, the ability to have live and fixed as an option in almost every position. It really is one of those multitasking machines that as creative as you want to be, you can create that part. Absolutely. And it's the, it's the big complex, you know, highly complex, highly accurate parts that we're going for on this machine. Yeah? So there's nothing simple about it. It's simple to program, but it's nothing simple about the machine itself. So it's those highly complicated, highly accurate parts which we're pushing for on this machine. And for some of you watching right now, this is a Swiss type machine. When we hear the word Swiss, we oftentimes think of something smaller, right? Yep. But this is one of those machines that even though its size is here and its multitasking capabilities are here, it's also incredibly fast, isn't it? Absolutely. It's probably one of the fastest machines in the world of this type. Um, we had, and it's, you know, say it's compact, it's a 20 millimeter bar stock. So it's a TNL 20, so we can put a 20 millimeter bar. You can put your bar feeder on the back. If we want to automate it, we can put automation. So we put our IX automation, our standard index automation, we can bolt to the front when, where you still have the possibility to get into the machine to, to set it all up. So you can just put the automation to the side. So that our standard automation just bolts to the front. So it's fully capable of doing basically everything you want. I like that answer, first of all. Now, we want to talk a little bit, if it's okay with you, for the audience out there who's learning a bit, just like myself, when it comes to slide heads and fixed heads, there is a budgetary conversation about what can be saved one from one to the other, and you can choose which one you want with a quick changeover, right? Absolutely. So it's very simple. It's basic control. So we basically, we can fix the head to stop it moving. So we'll just move the head forward if we want to use a fixed head machine. So we can put a collet or a chuck on the front and just run it as a normal fixed head lathe. Yeah. Or we can just remove the collet and the chuck. It's about 20 minutes. It's done. And then I can use it. I can pull the head back and I can put my guide bushing in the front and just use it like a Swiss type lathe. So it's about a 20 minute changeover. That's all. That's, it's impressive. But now because the audience has used their imagination because we're lacking at the guts of this machine. It's not every day we get to look at the guts, which is why Chris and I stopped by to show everyone who's watching. But it is time to go see what it looks like when it's put together, isn't it? Absolutely. So let's go downstairs because we're up here in the, in the pre-assembly. We'll go downstairs and look at the final assembly. I think we should beat our camera crew and head yeah, down there let's now. Go. Right, Come let's on. get out of here.